Hey everyone, it's Elaine. And yes, I have a hot mess right here. I'd like to get like projects together when I go off on a weekend retreat or a day retreat. You've heard me talk about them many times. And I have one that's coming and it is from 8 a.m. in the morning until midnight. And guess what? It's kind of local to me. Only about 20 miles away. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. Anyhow, I wanted to come and show you what I've started and what I would be working on. And I'm going to, this is going to be kind of ongoing also, I have to say, because I'm going to try my very best to put together 20 soft covered journals. But I want to show you what I'm using as the base. And it's this. This is plastic kind of cardboard doesn't tear that comes with some fabric samples now I guess it's this brand that this is how they do it and you know I guess that's yeah the pattern and the color they list down there um, and this is how excuse me this is how the fabric sorry this is how the fabric is attached and so I sit in front of the TV and it's like this. I'll sit in front of the TV and use a seam ripper and tear it all apart. Now, I have gobs and gobs, but I'm glad that I took the time to go ahead and separate this stuff. Because when you go then to sit down and work on your project, voila, it's already all separated. Thank heavens. Because there's nothing like getting me out of the mood to make something when I have to do all of this work to prepare. So let me get this out of the way. And I brought this over for a reason. All right, so now what I have done, as you can see, I have sorry silked between a piece of fabric and the vinyl backing. All right. Um, I took a flat iron for your hair, and that's what I used to smooth out the sari silk. Now this sari silk also, I just got it on Amazon and it comes in lengths that are about, I don't know what that is, maybe 30 inches and that's where it's attached. So it's actually a pretty good length if you pop it apart where they've stitched it together. So this is going to be the front and at the retreat I will go ahead and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut this down. <clears throat> This one's going to be kind of weird because the string is back there behind it. But anyway, so this will be the approximate size of the cover of the journal. Now, this is going to be the outside. So then what I'm going to do, again, remember, using what I have, <laughs> I have to do that. I will take and maybe cut a piece. Let's play here for a second. I, I did not actually plan to do this, but that's okay. Maybe a piece, give or take, about like that on there. And then I'm going to take a smaller piece and I'm going to stitch all that down. That's why I have not done an inside cover because I'm going to stitch and I don't want that to go through to my inside cover. So I hope that makes sense to you. Then from there, I have um, a lot of leather book plates that I actually do have in my Etsy shop. And um, I'm going to put a book plate on here with a word behind it probably journal is all I'll do and then so then that'll be my cover so I thought real quick here I just would flip through and show you the outside covers comes good string to use later some outside the outside covers that I'm going to do all right this one is really embroidered and kind of quilted it's very pretty and why didn't you Elaine put these all upside down all right, that one's a little bit crazy, but won't it be cool? Won't it be cool? So here we go, a striped. Now, yep, this is kind of velvety. I really like it. And like I said, these are all, this one doesn't even look like I put it on straight. Elaine, you are crazy. All right, we'll see how that does. So I have a to-go bag of all kinds of miscellaneous fabrics and such. So there is that. Now this one is kind of velvety, a little bit boring. So the pieces that I'll put on it for the book under the book plate, 
You know, I'm going to try to find some wild and crazy ones. And here, that one, that one is pretty to me too. It's kind of velvety and reminds you kind of a, of like a zebra or something. And this one is um, shimmery. I thought I liked that color. I thought that would be a fun color. This isn't real exciting, but it's a pretty weave and it almost has a gold tint to it. Look at that. That's going to be crazy for somebody. But yep, I'm going to do 20 of them. They're going to be gifts. I decided on this one that I, let me see what I, yeah, this will be the front cover. I decided that would be the front cover and then not much on the back. But now that I look at that, if I do that is the front and they'll put the piece up there, they won't be really hiding anything and they'll still see all that. All right, so I got to decide about that one. And I tried to center when I had a pattern like that. I tried to center where it would be. And that, it, it worked. It worked. I did that one right. Anyway, there's another. And same thing. That's going to be my the, the center of the journal. Look at that. That's pretty to me. That's pretty to me. And then that's the last one. So stay tuned and come on back. Like I said, I, uh, I'm i going to, you know, cut these all up and everything. So remember, I do videos and I put them up every Tuesday. I'm just a one video a week kind of gal, and hopefully they don't run usually too long. I'm not one to ramble on also, but please, you know, check me out on Instagram, and I do have a Facebook group where I try to show things about upcycling and, and using what we have, things that we can do with it, and, you know, that Facebook group, you know, it needs you. It needs you there too, so if you don't mind, and then... Subscribe to my YouTube here and give me that thumbs up and let me hear from you. I, I do my very best to answer everybody and I would like to chat with you as well. So stay tuned and let's see how these come out. See how they come out. Thanks a lot and behave. Bye.